We have a fallen soldier. Whoa, whoa. She's so quick with it. Whoa! Oh, let go! And see what happened. Hopefully there's not a billion worms in here. Well, hello, hello, hello. What is up, Slayers? We're back at it. And we're doing a little update on these crawfish babies now. This is just some leftovers from the last time I fed her. I thought she wasn't going to eat, but she actually ate. So I guess I was completely wrong. None of my pregnant crawfish moms have usually eaten, but that is a first. Now let's go ahead and check out the other tank because I have some bad news, guys. So guys, like I was saying, I have some bad news. And the bad news is not that we have worms. The worms were cured, but if you look back there, right between the cracks, we have a fallen soldier. Yes. A fallen soldier. One has fallen. Blue has taken the turn for the worst. And I think it's because of worms. So I'm going to go ahead and move this real quick. <sighs> I'm so pissed. I'm so sad. And we're going to go ahead and get this guy. I think it got to him. And he has definitely passed. The moment of silence for the fallen. So what we're going to go ahead and do is use this as our little... Uh, dish to go ahead and examine him. I think worms were the cause of this death. Thing is, I changed this water, I dealt with it, and I medicated them. Like, I'm gonna show you right now that these guys no longer have worms, but this is really, really sad. This is very annoying. All right, I have my boy CJ. What's up, boy? What What's up? going on? He's gonna give me a hand right here. So now we're gonna go ahead and analyze the crawfish so you guys can go ahead and see. Well, actually, I'm gonna leave this light on, and I'm just gonna go ahead and grab him with my hand real quick. I think they're both in here. Just one actually. This is some food. Let me grab this guy right here. He's gonna pinch me. Please don't pinch me. So we have one of the big guys right here. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on flash real quick. So guys, as you can see now, not a single worm to be found. And he actually looks really good. You guys are getting to see his true colors, the black, the red, the orange, and cured completely after a lot of treatment, everything's okay. Everything's okay, so I'm very, very puzzled why our boy died. I'm gonna bring my guy here, and I don't know what happened to him. But I'm still not gonna handle him without gloves, so I'm gonna just leave that guy right there. But we're gonna put him against the black. Look at that. What a beautiful crawfish. So I don't wanna harass him anymore, but he's doing good. He's doing good. We're gonna put this guy back here. And we're gonna go ahead and get the blue one. So I'm gonna get Crayola, who no longer has a mate. I'm so sorry, Crayola. You're so lonely. My baby. Where'd she go? Is she over here? Whoa, whoa! She's so quick with it. Whoa! Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Alright, I got Crayola right now. And my sleeve is soaked. Absolutely soaked. So here's Crayola. We're gonna go ahead and put on some flash real quick. And we're gonna check and inspect Crayola. Now, usually these detritus worms could be everywhere and anywhere. Possibly maybe inside the crawfish, but look at it. Not a single worm. I mean, I'm, I'm being kind of dangerous without gloves. It's because they're gone. They're 100% gone. And they're not even here. Let me grab her on the other side so I don't get pinched. Oh, here it comes. Here comes the pinch. You know what? I can let her pinch me for. Oh, God. See? <laughs> Pinching me. All right, you can let go now. Oh, Crayola. Crayola, let go. Ow! 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 Let go! Well, she's not going to let go, guys. Ow! Ow, it keeps going harder. Is she gonna pinch me on that one too? Oh, she's ready on that one. So I'm stuck with this right here, right now. Oh, she let go, blessings. So, everything looks okay. Nothing, not a worm, everything's fine. So I'm super puzzled. So I wanna go ahead and find out what the heck happened to Blue. Because they all went through the same treatment. You know what I'm saying? It makes, it makes no sense what the heck happened. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Crayola back. And we're gonna find out what the heck happened to Blue. So we're gonna go ahead and put on our gloves because I don't trust these things. So uh, let's see what happened. We're looking and, oh man. I don't know what happened here. That's very interesting, he didn't have that before. And he's, our poor guy's soft. He has a little odor, a little stinkies. Oh man. If you guys were curious, that's how you tell if they're a male, that hardened swimmer at right there but oh man I wonder what happened so what I'm gonna do is just like lobsters I'm just gonna go ahead and twist it off and see what happened hopefully there's not a billion worms in here as you can see so sorry if this is graphic there's the inside of his carapace and everything right there 
And I don't see any worms. Do you see anything, CJ? Mm, not really. I don't. Let's go ahead and look at the meat. And I don't even know what the heck happened here. So, I mean, a lot of people eat this meat and I have no idea. Like, I don't want to live dangerously and eat this meat, but this is pretty prime. You know what I'm saying? Catch Look something. at that. I don't know. And then I got to see what's going on here. Like, check this out, guys. His carapace and stuff. Like, I'll rip his claws off to see what happens. Hold on, I'll rip the big one. Oh, uh, is there anything? It's just meat. His legs there. I don't really know what the heck happened. I'll, I'll break that off. Is there any worms? Oh, maybe? Maybe? Oh, no, that's just meat. I thought that was just a giant worm. Okay, it's just meat. Meat all around. So, our poor guy, Blue, is being dissected right now. But it's very interesting to see what the heck happened. Like, are there worms? Are there one of the worms right there? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Sorry. I got, I got spooked. I was trying to look. I got to remember you guys are watching also. So, um... Let me see if anything happens. No, nothing. That's just meat. That's just meat all around. All around. That's just his meat. It smells like shrimp. It's literally crawfish or just freshwater shrimp, you know, tasty. You know, that's his vent right here. If you just vent that, you can pull it. Or you go ahead and just go through here just like you're venting a lobster. These are just baby lobsters pretty much. Man. What happened to you, bro? Like, let's look inside this hole right now together. Anyone home? Like, that's his brains. Everything. Blue. It didn't have to be this way. Here, let me let me crack this open. This could stink, guys. It could be kind of gruesome, but let's see what happens. So here we go. He's full of water, obviously. And we're just taking off his mask. Look at that. That's meat. People just suck this up. When you're eating the crawfish, I suck it up when it's the crawfish, too, when they're cooked. But what happened to you, bro? Isn't this crazy? All right, guys. So now looking. Now we're getting a little bit of a stench now that we opened this up. It's like, ugh, ugh, sorry. <coughs> it's getting a little stinky out here. Now, I don't see any evidence of worms because they were all in the exact same enclosure after it was cleaned with the treatment in that little quarantine box and everything's kind of okay as you saw there's no worms not at all like after this i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys again the worms but here let's open this up not a single worm you know the worms didn't lay any eggs in them they usually fall and die when there's not enough oxygen when you go ahead and quarantine your crawfish when they have this type of detritus worms, you want to go ahead and try to have it as an, in a low oxygen environment, but also not kill your crawfish. Oh man, this this really sucks though. This really sucks that he died. I was hoping I could get some babies from him and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and dispose of this properly, man. Oh, poor guy. He didn't deserve this kind of life. What a shame. We still have our platies here that we went ahead and put in here just to make sure everything was okay. And they've been eating some food and stuff. Gotta go take that out real quick. We don't want no more worms, but if we look in the back, let me go ahead and move this rock one more time. Housekeeping. I just want to go ahead and show you. They're doing fine. They're doing completely okay. They're completely fine. But as you can see, guys, not a single worm at all whatsoever. Poor Crayola. She just lost her mate. Oh, maybe we can go ahead and try to fish for one. Or something guys maybe maybe if you have one let me know in the comments below if you have one direct message me because she needs to be getting some babies going on I really want to get some blue crawfish babies but look all the worms are gone not a single worm guys and you would see them on her moving around so the treatment worked, everything worked we all did it together guys look how clear and clean that crawfish is it's it's insane guys oh man what a shame so let's go ahead and bury blue well blue you weren't supposed to go ahead and go out like that. You're supposed to be a father to many, many little sons and women. But things happen and I have no idea why you died. Everyone's okay. So instead of burying you in the ground, we will feed you. Oh, look at that peacock. That was a fat peacock. We're gonna, there's a bass too. We're gonna go ahead and feed you and you will go ahead and make someone else happy. Goodbye, my friend. For you will never be forgotten. I will always love you, Blue.
That's really sad. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you, CJ, for helping me out. I appreciate you. Blue! You'll never be forgotten! <laughs>